the thorns are blocking our path. Hmm, weird. We'll have to clear them before we can reach the beacon. Oh, please be careful. They look sharp. Hmm, maybe we can find something nearby to help us deal with them. Cherish every gain. Master Tianxing, are you all right? This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go! Move, move! What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers, and they are... Excuse me, one moment please. Careful! This 
just hold vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes? What is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry. Um, could you do me a favor? The, wo the wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Thank you. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> I had no idea it could get this bad. Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for, to ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go! Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. <sighs> That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down and stay where you are. Please hold him still for me. Sure. Are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. I'm just, just a little out of breath. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'll go find a medic. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please, take some rest. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. They are the ones keeping our people safe. 
What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. Rover, where are we going next? Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks. Have you confirmed the inventory? What about a spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. Ewa, deliver this list to Asher. Uh, you're not Ewa. Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover, and this is Master Tianxing who came here to look for someone. Please excuse me. I'll join you later. What? What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> Please excuse me. For that. Is this a manga scene? Master Tianxing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yuan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Xian Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have... Running into Master Tianxing was a one-off incident. If the Mangosteen indicates something about war, what have you thought of something, Rover? I think... So Madam Magistrate wants to tell us about the TD outbreak? If those tacit discords break through our defenses, it would be a disaster for not just Huang Long, but for all of humanity. We haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. Our soldiers stationed at the borders. I hope they're okay.
General. Wind Rider. into the distance. You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think... I An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Qinglong. The Qinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Tian, the leader of all Midnight Rangers. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tien was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Over. Something on that battlefield must be good. I didn't hear anything or sense any frequencies. Rover? According to Baija, the leaf showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations 
pointed to a certain set of coordinates. And that is... Teacher Village in the Central Plains. As I make myself reflect on my goals and plans, those voices in the streams become clearer and everything starts to make more sense. Rover, perhaps you can give it a try. the place. I sensed something ominous from the leaf back there, but I couldn't pinpoint its source. And now, the hatred and pain is so strong in this place. I don't even need to concentrate to feel it. Rover, something terrible must have happened here. We have to be cautious. This is a tacit field. Let's take out those tacit discords first. I see your weakness. One with the sounds. No hesitation.
over. Watch out! Something's not right. Why wouldn't it attack us? Brother... repeat these lines. This is not a common tacit discord. Tacit discords attack other living beings because they need to feed on those frequencies to make themselves whole again. When frequencies are scattered and recombined, a new tacit discord is born. This one probably devoured the frequencies of humans, turning the last bits of a human's consciousness into such monotonous mumbles. Are these words the last cries of someone innocent? Who is behind this twisted plot? I'm sorry. beyond my ability. I just sensed some complex feelings from it. A mixture of deep sadness and eager anticipation. Rover, I think I know what's going on here. for help, but it's not asking us to help it. I can sense the pained cries of this tacit discord. No, the cries of this whole village. The village is crying, waiting for rescue. Something truly awful must have happened here, and the victim's reverberations still linger. Based on the evidence we've found and the condition of these ruins, that didn't happen all too long ago. I can still feel it in the streams. Perhaps the tacit field has kept this village from being discovered. Or maybe someone has been intentionally concealing it. Anyway, there must be something we can do. We may find the victims nearby. I can feel someone connected to what happened here is still close. This place is dangerous. I'll inform Chusia about what happened here. Can we continue our search before the official investigators arrive? Sorry, I know it doesn't sound very convincing. It's just a hunch of mine, and I don't have any evidence to back it up.
Thank you, Rover. Please stay vigilant. As for the little one here, let's leave it be. The area is a mess, but it doesn't look like a war zone. Someone was hurt and dragged away. Look, there are many footprints here. These are traces left by a fight. Someone was injured. Ritualistic wooden plaques. But why are they here? These plaques are usually placed in ancestral shrines. And they seem to belong to a different time. I remember reading about something like this. People held large-scale ancient rituals periodically in their villages, driven by certain beliefs. I see. Let's check somewhere else. These cards. Ah, oh, I see. The Fraxidus is likely behind it all. The Fraxidus? Yes. I don't know much about the Fraxidus, but as an outrider, I've worked on related cases. It's a group of extremists obsessed with fusing humans with tacit discords. They've caused terror attacks of various scales around the world. Fusing humans in tacit discords. We've seen signs of their presence in Jinzhou, left by lower-ranked members called artificers. Above the artificers are the overseers, leaders with eerie abilities and unknown intentions. They pose a far bigger threat. No one knows their true intentions. Some members speak of world destruction, while others claim they seek eternal power. And there is one particularly insane overseer. He's crazy even by Fraxida's standards. A man who sees no order and revels in destruction. I've seen similar cards in the physical evidence file of the Fraxida's related cases. They belong to this one overseer I'm talking about. They call him... Scar, if he's responsible for what happened to these villagers, who knows what kind of cruel and twisted atrocities he's capable of. Guess you won't need my self-introduction. Oh, I spent so much time on it. you need to hear it from me, then yes, I am Scar. Cruel and twisted maniac. We deserve a meeting free of such disturbances, don't you agree? The girl, she's gonna sway your judgment. Don't worry. I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. 
She is safe now. Well, let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that irrelevant person, will you? I have a lot to share with you. To begin with, I heard you've lost your memories. <laughs> Indeed, I'll tell you then. Before you knew anything about this world, you were already the center of conflict. You are the unknown variable we've been waiting for. Forces have been fighting for possession over you. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. The world is a cruel place. You are a living, breathing person, but you're just a pawn to many. That's why I'm here, because I see you as a dear friend, and I want to tell you the truth. I am so, so sorry for everything you're about to face. But truth hurts sometimes. <laughs> I know you are not one I can sway with simple words. My goal is simple. I just want to deepen our mutual understanding, nothing more. Come on. Observe the surroundings a little more and tell me what you see. As you learn more about this world, your true desires will surface. And our little game will become even more entertaining. And before that, I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. That's all. Ah, uh, why do you have to assume we are the culprits? Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. As I said, why don't you take a look around and see for yourself? So go ahead. What do you see? Bravo! Didn't think you'd catch on to that. Now, what is the conclusion you've drawn? How typical. The age-old tale of savage wolves and helpless lambs. Good and evil as clear as day. It's a tired story that people cling to in their mundane lives. Oh, how it keeps them in check. But let me ask you this. Do you truly believe the real world can be that simple? Let me give you a couple more tips. The truth is far more complicated than you think. First, who are the players in our tale? An innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Next, what makes up our main plot? False devotion fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable soul pushed onto a path of destruction by the masses. Now, Rover, the story is yours to spin. 
I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. The story begins here. Once upon a time, in a peaceful village, lived a flock of carefree lambs. In the day, they toiled for food, and when evening fell, they sought refuge from the looming threat of wolves. Fables. Stories told and retold through the ages. The ancient art of conveying hidden truths through fiction. But they always draw from real life, don't they? The same story gets told by many, and each person brings their own spin, their own focus. Whatever you learn from it is just one of countless different interpretations, like us now, caught in a carefully crafted plotline a scheme I had no hand in. This village marks the beginning of my story with Jinjo. <laughs> so that magistrate led you here to meet me. Ha! <sighs> Such a clever move on her part. One day, a shepherd visited the shepherd, brought them promised no. With a wave of his hand, the, his flock oh, they no longer had to struggle for survival. The flock worshipped their sh What's wrong? Does imagine you were one of those lambs, facing irresistible temptation and... Oh, so we agree already. You are right. But the world we live in falls short of our ideals. It's up to the two of us to make that ideal world a reality. The lambs reveled in endless bonfire parties, celebrating their new god every night. Except, though, as each night passed, it was the only one to notice how its flock was dwindling away. Rover, do you think someone would give you what you want without taking anything from you? <laughs> I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid a high enough price, I could get my desired outcome. But true equality is scarce, always has been. The world was never a fair place, wouldn't you agree? To receive equal retribution, one must give more and more. 
and more. When every wish comes with a hefty price, people weigh their options carefully. When they can make someone else bear the price. They all rush to make more wishes. They don't consider they too may one day pay for another's selfish desire. Funny, isn't it? Later, the shepherd openly blamed the black lamb for the flock's decline. On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual. But the black lamb was nowhere to be found. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village. One that our black lamb violated by telling the truth. Suddenly, the once doting god stopped fulfilling wishes because no more sacrifices were being made. After witnessing the Black Lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty shepherd, what do you suppose the White Lambs did? Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under their noses. Well done! You didn't let any details slip. Now, I wonder, what is your takeaway from this story? Answer me and I'll reveal the truth of what happened. Who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? Indeed, the direct culprit was the shepherd. He held all the power, fulfilling wishes at a price. The lambs knew the risks, yet succumbed to temptation. Unfortunately, in the face of such temptation, they disregarded all the hidden risks, as disaster had yet to befall them. If they were given another chance, I believe they would still choose the same path. Inevitably, they accepted their fate and paid the price when their time came. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? They must have poured their sincerity into it, no doubt. But that's not much of a price, is it? Here's my final question. What happened to the Black Lamb? Ah, 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 ah. Don't rush, Rover. Take your time. What is the truth you've uncovered? The shepherd was granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. The flock never found out about it. They were deceived to believe the Black Lamb was the culprit. Almost there, Rover. Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs. Until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock, and the lambs lived contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. The shepherd found the solitary black lamb in his flock, and offered to grant any wish it desired. In exchange, he wanted one of its companions as a sacrifice. 
the black lamb refused, and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. After the black lamb's exile, more lambs continued to vanish. The shepherd then blamed the black lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish-granting power as punishment. From the very beginning, the lambs knew the risk of making wishes. They too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. Fearful, yet greedy, they followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. Black Lamb got in their way, and that of the shepherd's greedy pursuit, sparking hatred in their hearts. Suddenly, they could no longer ignore the blood and ashes of past sacrifices littering the ground. How do you like my story? Rover. What really happened here? I suppose you already have it figured out? The black lamb who rebelled against the rules, and the white lambs who succumbed to their greed, the innocent maiden sacrificed, and the villagers who turned on each other in a ruthless frenzy. They had it coming. All the shepherd had to do was execute the rebel. That's how he kept the flock in check and maintained the status quo. Fun answer, but no, not even close. I was never the shepherd, never will be. You and I, we are the black lamb. The one who breaks the rules. <laughs> Interesting, Rover. <laughs> I'm liking you more and more. Well then, let's see if this black lamb is going to end up like you say. Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the right path to take? Oh, you found us already. Shake and shiver, blink an eye. A flock of lambs comes passing by. Fleece of white, black, and red. Who's this? Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them on this right path. Uh-uh-uh. Don't rush. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. Us. 
be? Such brutality. <laughs> Can't you see? We are... Tell me, do you want to be the rule-setting shepherd or the rule-breaking black lab? If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason or the sole apostle? Think about it. The shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, the Black Lab can reclaim the trust of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be victims or oppressors! Rover! Ugh, such a pesky girl. shattered Scar's illusion that should have injured him. Oh! Should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from him! Didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <laughs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? The choice is yours. I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. We'll meet again in the not too distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement and I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Huh? Why are you here, little one? I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. The brother had mentioned. Could it be... Yes, that is a possibility. Since Scar had been here before, let's talk about it later. Rover, can you fill me in on what happened? It seems all the tragedies in Tea Tree Village were linked to that ritual. Making up stories based on real life to support his twisted beliefs? That does sound like something he might do. We cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. Do 
two distinct frequencies of tacit discords. I see. I can feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. Rover, do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one broken in half? Yes, as I thought. I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. the missing half. We can piece them together now. Where did it go? Oh, is that a diary? That girl just wanted to save her village. Sacrifices didn't lead to redemption. I guess the tacit discord we saw stayed here to convey her last wishes. Please excuse me. It's getting a bit too cold here. Can we head back now? Sorry, Rover. I didn't feel comfortable down there. The air was heavy in that place, without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. I... I couldn't handle it. The villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope, resentment, and despair. And as I read the diary, I could feel the intense sorrow and longing of its owner. What was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful life she once had? 
Or did she miss her only family? The person who pushed her towards such a tragic end. My apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again. But I still lack the confidence to make that claim. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider. To become someone with the strength to stop them from ever happening again. I cannot stop the lament. But at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. Really? Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. I'll compile a report on what happened here and send it in along with the clues we've gathered. Yes, let's go back. Together. First reaction? Come on! Anyway, you know we could really use your help with this ongoing case. We've been getting a lot of missing persons reports recently. Nobody ever saw those people assaulted or anything. They just vanished. Some of those people are even resonators, or they've served in the military. Since you're always coming and going from the city, can you help me watch out for anything weird or suspicious? Thank you so much. Knew I could count on you. Ring me up when you spot anything sus, yeah? <laughs> Laters. The Seance Society. I never heard of them before. They said they have a solution? But how? This is very suspicious. No matter how I look at it, guess I'll just go and see for myself. Expected discovery.
unexpected discovery. The hour is upon us. Oh, so you've accepted my invitation, Rover. Well, yes. My name is Laron. Since you were here, you must have lost someone too. Daddy? Now, Yuan Yuan, no need to be afraid. Yes, my daughter. Her name is Yuan Yuan, my only precious. I am Daddy's precious? Absolutely, my dear. We will stay together. Nothing can take you from me again. Ah, yes. Once we were separated by an unfortunate turn of events. But now I have her back, thanks to the Seon Society's help. Truly a miracle, is it not? And you, yes, you too can be reunited. No, she didn't. She was never gone. Can't you see? Yuan Yuan, she... She's still alive. Alive and well. Daddy, what's happening? You're scaring me. He seems off. Is he overclocking? No! No, Doctor! I don't need anything! I am not leaving her. You're not leaving Daddy, right? You on, you on? I... You on, you on! Shut up! Take your hands off her now! No! Daddy! Ah! That's enough, Larong. 
She'll be safe in my care. You still have other things to do, remember? <sighs> no! Don't! Yuan Yuan! Larong! Do you want to lose your daughter again? <sighs> no. I... Fine. I'll leave it to you. Now hand over the girl. You see, that man is her father. Why do you want to separate them? Oh, well, whatever. Wan Wan, come over here, please. Yes. Good girl. Stay here, Wan Wan. And why would you be concerned? Smart boys know how to mind their own business. Oh, you're quite the fighter. Mm. How about... Shh! They're coming. It's the patrollers. We can't let them find out about Wan Wan. Now, if you don't want to get into trouble, better do as I say. I'll explain everything later. Including what's happening with the Seance Society. Smart choice. Good. Now come give me a hand. We'll need to hide the traces of fighting here. Everything's back to where they were before. Found a piece of paper inside one of the boxes. It seems like a transaction record, date of transaction. It says today. Items. Four reincarnation puppets. What are those? Signy. The wrong. Probably forgot to take it with him. That should do the trick. No signs of injuries on Yuan Yuan. That woman wasn't controlling her through resonance abilities either. Then why is Yuan Yuan obeying her commands? This should be good enough to get past their eyes. The patrollers are almost here. Shh! You there! We heard some commotion coming from this area. What's going on? Nothing, officer. We were just hanging out. Really? Then what was that loud banging and shouting? Oh, this girl just tripped over. Poor thing nearly cried her eyes out. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Is that so? Then what did you do after that? It seems she can't find her father. We were just trying to help. Right, Rover? I see. So they're just being kind. I don't have other questions. You can... Leave the girl to us. We'll help find her father. Thanks, but we've got this. Little one seems quite shy. She's just warming up to us. Wouldn't want to bother you further. Don't worry. You're not bothering us. It's our job to help civilians in need. Trust me, I understand how tedious a patroller's job can get. That's why I want to help. My name's Yinglin. I'm also a patroller. Here's my ID. Oh, 
Oh, a fellow patrol? You sure this is real? Never seen her around. You think I can't tell a fake ID when I see it? Shut your mouth. No reason you would have seen me. I don't work here. Just visiting Jinjo on vacation. Ah, makes sense. Then we'll leave the girl to you. Thank you for your help. If you can't find her dad, bring her to the patroller station. Come on, we're going, rookie. Enjoy your day. Have fun in Jinjo. Oh, hey, uh, wait up, Captain. Hmm. Do I not look the part? I didn't plan to blow my cover, but that patroller was sharp. I would have risked them finding out about Wan Wan otherwise. You should see for yourself. Let your soul rest. Return to your true form, daughter of Larong, Wen Wen. Yes, a puppet to be exact. This helpless little girl before you, Larong's beloved daughter, is nothing but a humanoid robot. And the so-called Seon Society. They're the ones behind Jinjo's recent missing person cases. They offer these puppets to people who have lost their loved ones. These puppets can perfectly replicate the personalities of the deceased. To those mourning people, they're indistinguishable from the living. Yes. With the puppet, she has been resurrected by her father's longing. People gave up everything to join this society for one chance to reunite with their beloved. As for how they got their hands on these puppets, I have no idea yet. Beware. The puppets may seem harmless, but those who got too attached are much more likely to overclock. Lorong's the recruiter. You're the perfect outsider, traveling all alone, ripe for the taking. <laughs> but it seems he picked the worst candidate possible. I need to apprehend the true culprit behind this group. But this is not your problem. I'm on a mission. Leave now and forget everything that happened here today, will you? Larong's transaction record. Where did you find it? Oh, you're such a box of surprises. Sure, why not? I'll give you what you want. But I don't want prying eyes. If you're really that curious, meet me outside the city at these coordinates.
We meet again, as I expected. This place seems safe enough. So, any questions for me? <laughs> Didn't know you cared so much about me. This is supposed to be confidential. But I've been authorized to make my own calls. My orders were clear. Infiltrate the Seance Society, gather evidence of their crimes, and find the culprit behind it all. So far, I've had no luck meeting any of their higher-ups. Just playing a system for Lerang to gain their trust. So, any questions for me? Aside from recruiting new people in Jinzhou, Lerang and I were given another task. See the transaction record in your hands? Some Fraxidus members ordered a batch of puppets from the Society. We're in charge of handling the deal. Not until their collaboration started. The Fraxidus had been demanding prototype puppets regularly. I planned to investigate these prototype puppets for manufacturer clues. But Lerang keeps things very tight. He never takes me to his storage place. It's almost time for the deal. I need to bring Wen Wen back to Lerang before he gets suspicious. With the Fraxidus in play, things could go south very fast. Now you know the nitty-gritty details. It's still not too late to call it quits. You don't seem to be mourning someone. Why the interest? You've suffered a memory loss, I see. Indeed, if they can make such lifelike puppets by tapping into people's memories, perhaps they could help you remember, too. But we need to find them first. You can be my civilian investigator. What do you say? Larong and I are about to meet the Fraxidus for our deal. He will then leave to get the puppets at the storage house. I will need you to follow him and send me the coordinates once you're there. I understand. This mission won't be an easy one. You better think it through. But be quick. It's almost time for the deal. Well, have you come to a decision? So you still decided to join me. You must be pretty confident. That's good. They're coming. You'll hide and watch Lerong. I'll bring Wen Wen to him. Hopefully he won't suspect. Rise and shine, Wen Wen. Miss Yunlin, wh where am I? Where's Daddy? Don't worry, Wen Wen. I'm taking you to Daddy in just a moment. But before we do, promise me you'll be a good girl, okay? Okay, I promise. That's my girl. Let's go. I'm leaving the rest to you, Rover. Lerong, here's your daughter, as I promised. Yuan Yuan, I was so afraid. I can't bear to lose you again. Please don't cry, 
it, Daddy? Was I being bad? No. You're always a good girl. Always. Ah, uh, enough with the make-believe. That's a puppet. Daddy, am I a puppet? No, you're not. Yuan Yuan, I... Wan Wan's ten times more human than you people. You call that thing human? <laughs> That's just a robot lab rat. <laughs> Enough. We don't have time for this. Where's our stuff? Bring them out. Lorong, go bring them the prototype puppets. <laughs> I... Hey, we ain't got all day. Hurry up. No! I won't let you have them! We'll make you regret this. After him! You're going nowhere either, Missy. Here we go. Lorong's trying to escape with the puppets. Here's hoping that Rover can stop him in time. Yuan Yuan. They won't find us here. Those scary people. Are they coming after me? Not just you, Yuan Yuan. They want all the puppets here. But I won't let them. I'll make sure every puppet finds home. Together with people who love and need them. I will not let those freaks use them for experiments, Master Dollmaker. How could you be the first to betray our belief? Dollmaker? Is that the leader of the Seance Society? Is Master Dollmaker bad, Daddy? I... I'm not sure anymore. He was our hope. He saved us all, but... <laughs> Doesn't matter now. I must get you all to safety first. I guess they still have some morals. There's still things they won't do. I spotted them! Over there! You can't hide from this good old sniffer of mine. You on, you on? Get behind Daddy, quick. I'll grab these puppets now. What about that guy, boss? Ice him. We'll take that puppet behind him, too. Huh? huh. I will not... Let you die! Ah! The wrong's going to severely overclock at this rate. Oh, oh, oh. Help! Hey! What the hell are you doing here? One man's not gonna make a difference. Get rid of them now. Forgetting someone, are we? What the? Those idiots! They were supposed to take care of you! Careful! Sorry I knocked out your friends earlier. We're not planning to start anything with the Fraxidus, really. What do you say? 
care to give Lurong and his daughter a little break? There are people after all. You may have these puppets here. We can pretend none of this ever happened. You think we're stupid or what? We're taking the puppets, and you're all going under. Aw, oh, you sure you want to do this? We're business partners, remember? Partners? You're just a bunch of lab rat keepers trying to play the game! So they're not up for peace talks. What do you say, Rover? <laughs> True. You know your Fraxidus well. You've got some moves. Impressive. Guess I can rely on you a bit more. I'll be counting on you. How delicious. I need... How did you like the fight? Are you injured? Those were the Fraxidus and you didn't bat an eye. Looks like you've got the skills and the nerve too. We took care of him for now, but there's probably more trouble coming our way. My, my, are you worried about me? What a surprise. I thought you never trusted me this entire time. Fine. I'll spare you the teasing for now. Your serious face is quite cute, though. Don't worry. We took care of all the Fraxidus people here. If the society becomes suspicious, I'll just pin everything on them. They may still question me, but I've mastered gaining trust with lies. It's the key to being an undercover investigator. Just like what I did to you. Try feeling your back. A bug and a tracker. How else do you think I got here so quickly? I put it there the first time we met. Don't trust anyone. That's the first thing I learned in training. You may not belong to any group, but you seem to care for Larong and Yuan Yuan, and you want to recover lost memories. I can't risk you betraying me by helping them run off or selling me out. Better safe than sorry. Of course, Dollmaker. He must be a big deal in the Seance Society, or even their leader. We're getting close to the truth, but we have another issue at hand. I did a quick checkup on Larong. He just passed out from overclocking. Lucky for him, it wasn't that bad. Yuan Yuan returned to her puppet form once Larong fell unconscious. Not even I can reactivate her now. I doubt she'll be reactivated anytime soon. We've reached a dead end with Larong. Yeah, I was planning to. We may find some clues. But we gotta move first. Can't stay here for long. Go collect the puppets. I'll look after Larong and Yuan Yuan. Acknowledged. Is that our only option? But I believe it's unnecessary. <sighs> yes, understood. I'll have it taken care of. Yes, it's my contact from the Public Security Bureau. 
They'll be sending people over soon. We can leave Lorong and Yuan Yuan in their care. Are you done with the puppets? That's fine. We'll dig further once we're in a safer location. My contact informed me of a safe house not far from here. The patrollers will have a designated meetup spot. There will be wolf-shaped markings nearby to show us the way. Let's move. Can't let the Fraxidus find us. No more markings in sight. This must be the safe house. Look, there's a device on that wall. Hmm, we need a passcode. They were thorough. The safe house is hidden and has a passcode. There should be some hints nearby. Let's look around. Yes? See those flowers? Don't you try counting them. I have a feeling they may be the passcode. We should be good in here. This safe house is equipped with signal jammers and counter surveillance measures. The Fraxidus won't find us here. It's as safe and secure as it gets. Nothing gets in, and nothing gets out. Don't bother. You won't find any patrollers here. told you before. <laughs> Don't trust anyone, remember?
What a special specimen. You would make for value. Time to have my men take him back to the camp. No injuries? I still have my weapon and terminal. It's hard to tell from what little I've gathered so far. I should find out where this place is first. I was trapped inside this box. It's easier to open now that I broke it. There's something between the cracks. A tablet with an encrypted transmitter. Messages sent through these are less traceable, I've heard. But why would I find it here? The Seance Society name list. Some of the names have been crossed out. These are probably the Seance Society members. Am I in their base of operation? I guess that's all the clues. I should use it to inform Chisha and the others of my situation. And my current coordinates. Done. Here's hoping they'll get my message. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh, you're awake. Come out then. Look at you. Fresh as the dew. I went with maximum voltage back there. Didn't expect you'd wake up so soon. Thought you might never wake up again. I was gonna get Dr. Wu Sheng to check on you. I have no interest in taking your life. Master Dollmaker wants to see you alive. Why, you insolent little whippersnapper? Show some manners when you're talking to Miss Yinlin. Where is your family? Youngsters like you, always running off and leaving your family to rot. It's family reunion day. Ain't no way I'm letting anyone leave this camp. Go sit down next to the bonfire and stay there. Don't you be thinking of slipping off? Miss Yinlin, show them the way. You heard the kind lady. Now keep your mouth sh- You can try to escape. I wouldn't recommend it though. Without Dr. Wu Sheng's antidote, you wouldn't make it too f It's all up to you. Just now I have no reason to lie. You were planning to ask Master Dollmaker about your memories anyway, so why not come with me? It's the Seon Society's headquarters. We all live here. Why don't you just join the Society? Make things easier for all of us. Good try.
Try not to sound so obvious next time. Come on, joining or not, it won't hurt to introduce yourself first. Miss Yenlin, who might this be? Don't worry, he's Master Dollmaker's guest. I see, whatever. I just want to stay with my son. So what? He's still my one and only son. What would you know? Rover, let's stop it here. I won't let anyone threaten our peaceful life ever again! <sighs> Greetings, stranger. The name's Jin Lu. We're the guards here, Her Chang and I. Right you are. The two of us and Lirong used to be Midnight Rangers. How are you feeling? Got the overclocking under control? Well, thanks for asking, Miss Yinlin. I'm feeling a lot better now. Lirong, though, he, uh, he had it rough back there. We served in the same unit. Her Chang overclocked. I know the risks. I'm just... I'll do anything. Anything to make it up to him. If I still can. No need to tiptoe around me. I know I'm a puppet. I'm just happy to see Jin Lu again. Well, as a dead guy, I try not to overthink things anymore. I know staying with us puppets will make my hubby his. Maybe we are causing harm by simply existing. But I wouldn't trade what I have now for anything else. Dr. Wu Sheng, how's Lerong doing? Out of danger for now, but he's still in a coma. Sorry, I'm not that familiar with taking care of resonators. There's not much else I can do. Shame. He shouldn't have disobeyed Master Dollmaker. Well, yes. Master Dollmaker asked me to. We had no other choice. You refused to join us. No. Why would I need to? They're not leaving here. This is the only place where we can forever live with our loved ones. I do, but I also know why we'll hold on to them no matter what. Doctors can't save everyone. Not even the best of us can. I could only watch as my better half passed away in agony. Master Dollmaker saved us with his puppets. That's something no doctor can ever achieve. What about you? Do you have someone you desperately need to see again? You can ask Master Dollmaker for help. He'll bring them back. I just remembered there's another place we need to visit. Come with me. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Not yet, at least. there. You're not one of us. How did you sneak in here? Chusha, are you injured? Miss Yinlin, you're back. Easy there. You need to rest. This is Master Dollmaker's guest. You're safe with him. 
It is my duty to protect our people. I'll be fine. I'm fine. Ah. No more duties if you die from those wounds. We no longer need you to protect this place, remember? But Master Dollmaker, he... He told me to protect this place at all cost. That won't be necessary. Master Dollmaker's not coming back. I'll be getting rid of everything here. Master Dollmaker's ultimate goal is near, and he won't need them anymore. Neither will I. But... Enough. You heard what I said. Stay put. I'll go fetch some first aid for you. What did she want to tell the doll maker? Guess I'll never know. Dollmaker has been delving deep in whose pup. Looks like a ch There's a. Is it the handiwork of one of the children back there? Or a memory of an adult member's youth? Why is it here? Yinlin will be back any moment now. I should go back. This should do it. If it still hurts, go to Dr. Wu Sheng for a detailed checkup. Thank you, Miss Yinlin. It's just a scratch. Nothing to worry about. Go find somewhere safe to rest. You're relieved of your duties. But, Miss Yinlin... We're burning it all. Stand back. I'll use my thunder to start up a fire. No trace will be left. Oh, so you've read what's written inside. You seem to enjoy meddling in other people's business. On second thought, the past can't be erased anyway. Burning these makes no difference, and the flames could attract tacit discords. Still, Chusha, you should leave this place. We don't need you to protect these anymore. What if those monsters come at us again? We'll have no one to stop them. Your safety matters far more than these objects of the past. If you're okay, go help those who aren't. Understood.
You've talked with everyone I see. Are you joining us now? They're just some poor souls longing to see their loved ones again. Master Dollmaker saves them, letting them make amends for their past regrets. A noble cause, is it not? <laughs> How is it betrayal when we were never a team? Having a cop on our side makes things easier for the Seance Society, don't you agree? I was just a young orphan, never knew who my parents were. Master Dollmaker took me in. He taught me combat, puppetry, temperance, and how to become a patroller. I owe my life to him. Yes, his eyes are set on another ultimate goal. We're all his subjects. He needs us to complete the last two puppets. Every one of us has been aware of this, but still decided to join. That's not for your ears. Members only, you see. But I do admit you're not like the others. You rescued Larong and showed respect to the puppets. They weren't just objects to you, I could tell. Look at you, ever so righteous. Maybe you're better suited to be a patroller than me. Kindness. <laughs> or maybe I couldn't just stand by either. That's up to you. Trust is a delicate thing. You must follow your instincts and decide how much you're willing to give. Enough chatter for now. I'll take you to Master Dollmaker's place. What's going on? Machine Lin, the tacit discords are here. Go tell your grandma. Get everyone somewhere safe. Oh, okay. What about you, Rover? Will you join them? Or flee while you can in this chaos? So you want to help protect them? Knew it. Everything, huh? The secrets I hold might be bigger than you imagine. If you really want to know, you'll need to survive this first. Now! We've got you surrounded! You are the leader here, aren't you? My, my. That's quite the party. Hey! Who the hell are you? Let him go! And if I don't? Freeze! Shut up! Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I've got a hostage, you see. Whoa! 
You... you... don't move! I wouldn't try anything stupid if I were you. Can't risk the VIP of Jinjo getting hurt now, can we? Oh, fine. Lower your weapons, guys. Trust me, come this way. Yes, some TDs found their way inside and we're now surrounded by a bunch of cops. Hard to make it out of here with the specimens. Fortunately, you caught that rover. Whether he's useful for research or not, holding him hostage will buy us some time. What should I do next, Master? Here's the coordinates. Bring him to me in the inner chamber. He's a sly one. Ready to bolt at any moment. I have trackers planted on him. He's not going anywhere in our territory. We'll talk once you get there. You heard him. You're in our turf. Better not get any bright ideas. Well, that's not your problem. Also, no one's coming to your rescue anytime soon. I guess you managed to send out a distress call. Somehow it slipped past us. Ah, you had an encrypted transmitter tablet. Hand it over. Don't try to deceive me. Good boy. You are a valuable test subject. I don't want to make things difficult for you unless you force my hands. Got it? Here's the thing. Dollmaker's listening to our every word. All my efforts will be wasted if he suspects anything. I'll be typing on this tablet for you to see. I want you to follow my instructions. Very well. If you can refrain from unnecessary struggle, we won't have to do things the hard way. You don't need to know. Now get moving. We're in the factory where the doll maker makes his puppets. This place is full of traps and his minions. Very dangerous. <laughs> Patience. You'll know once you see him. Doll maker's in bed with the Fraxidus. Trading overclock inducing puppets for resources and funds. I need your help to collect proof of his crimes. No more wasting time. Let's go. I'll take off your restraints on the way. I need you to pretend you're still bound, remember?
Strange. Path is blocked. That thing should open it back up. I'll handle it. Guarding this place for Master Dollmaker? <coughs> Out of my way. Master Dollmaker asked for this person. Oh, family! Oh, my family! <sighs> They're overclocking. Must have been exposed to those puppets for too long. The bunch of cops that just attacked us pushed them over the edge. Give my family back! Surrender your stuff. Ow! My fear of expertise. I can't get through here, but Zapstring should be able to get under it. This should deactivate the alarms in the lower levels. Ugh, the control system's crashed. We'll have to force our way through.
Good. Those exiles can't reach us now. Master Dollmaker's chamber is right up ahead. Don't die on me now. So many prototype puppets. How many secrets does this factory hold? Here, record the physical status of these puppets. Master needs to know for his research. These are his prize achievements. We need photos of them to prove what he's been up to. Hmm. <laughs> That's more like it. Remember to capture every detail. I'll be watching you. Military grade mechs. How did they get their hands on these? That's the total number of prototype puppets. Imagine what would happen if they were all activated at once. All puppets are powered by these metal canisters. That's why non-resonators can activate the puppets. Intruder! Kill her! They can't even recognize me now. Plan? We take them out, of course. We can't stay here too long. Make it quick. Swift and resolute. You might be able to go to
Yin Lin, you made it. Have those cops entered the factory? Not yet. But those exiles were overclocking, and I had to take them down. It's fine. They're disposable. They're a bunch of outcasts, willing to do whatever it takes to survive. No one would mourn them if they died. Oh? Me? I could save them, I'm sure. But who's going to save me? Stop it, Dollmaker. My parents would not consent to being brought back as puppets. Yin Lin, I thought at least you would understand me. I don't blame you. You were too young when they passed away, after all. You hardly remember them. And that's why I couldn't revive them from your memories. Nor from my own, either. This is where you come in, Rover. You're a godsend. A gift from above. Precisely. With help from the Fraxidus, plus your body's data, I will finally create their puppets. Dollmaker, you... I was an outcast. Alone and shunned. Until my mentor and his wife took me in. They were my true family. I'll do anything to bring them back. No matter the price. So what? Why should I care? It's almost time. We'll have to leave the factory behind, but there's a couple of prototypes I need to bring. My identity must stay hidden. Use explosives to stop them if necessary, Yin Lin. But our people are still inside the factory. Our people? There's only the two of us. The rest of them are not worth my concern. What about Rover? Same as before, Yin Lin. Just knock him out. No need to keep him intact this time. Some level of basic consciousness is enough. The Fraxidus taught me methods to operate on a body like that. I'll leave two puppets here, to pretend we're still holding him hostage behind the closed door. We'll need the data repository too. Yes, my research data. That's more valuable than my life. I'll take care of the data transfer. Yin Lin, you deal with this person. Be quick! Uh, Yin Lin, what are you doing? It all ends here, Dollmaker. You're going nowhere. You of all people should know why the Fraxidus offered their help. Yin Lin, you... How dare you betray me! I have never forgotten who I am. My bloodline is one of Jinjo's patrollers. I will always uphold my duty. Just like my parents before me. They fought to the last minute of their lives, trying to save the innocent. Everything I've done, I did it for them! No. You did it to relive the kindness you once felt. But my parents are gone. So are everyone else's loved ones. It's time we wake up from this dream you've been spinning. No. Don't you dare! Careful. Those people don't look right. They've all overclocked. Uh, Ow! 
this. Time to wrap it up. There's no time. Swift and resolute. The hour is upon us. Lightning has destroyed the control panel and hologram projectors. This is what the factory really looks like. This thing. The Fraxidus. You got this from them in exchange for being their pawn? Me? Their pawn? Ha! I'm the one pulling their strings, sweetheart! It's all over, Dollmaker. Surrender now. Shinlin! <coughs> How could you do this to me? I created this home for my followers. They found salvation through my puppets. I am their savior! You too, Yinlin! You had the chance to reunite with your family. Why are you doing this to me? I never met my parents, but my actions are guided by their beliefs. As a child, I bemoaned my misfortune, but I knew better than to harm others to make up for it. The dead deserve peace. My parents are gone, and I can't change the past. But the presence is mine to control. I can still bring justice to those who caused their untimely end. What's wrong with doing what I can for our happiness? Laws and principles are just tools for those in charge. Is that why you must deprave others of their happiness? Using them as your pawns? <laughs> Suddenly justice matters to you? Don't tell me you still think you're a patroller. I already wiped your data from their records. No one knows you were a patroller. You can't prove it to anyone now. Yes, they may never allow me back. Doesn't matter now. It's a small price to pay to stop you and the greater evil you serve. I don't need a recognized identity to do what's right. I can do it my way. You! I should get going. I'm leaving the rest to you, Rover. Please, keep it secret from the patrollers until it's all over. One day, I'll tell them everything myself. Next time we meet, I'll explain all, and I'll thank you properly, I guess. Quick! 
Quick, over there! Are you okay? We've sent those civilians back to Jinjo for medicals. They weren't super excited to leave for some reason. They didn't want to be separated from those puppets no matter what. There was really not much we could do about it. woman who kidnapped you. Don't tell me she's already gone. Quick, we're going after her. Ah, yeah, she's a slippery one. Unlikely we can track her down. Also, something about her seems not so evil. No. Can't make assumptions. She's still a suspect. Ugh, we'll table that for now. Rover, you're a crucial witness. Please come to the Bureau for a statement when you can. I'll see you there. An unexpected discovery. what the Seon Society was up to. Thanks for your statement, it really helped. Somehow the Fraxidus was involved too. Who would have thought? Luckily, the man's still not saying anything. Guess we'll have to keep him in custody for now. Nothing about that suspect lady either. We still have zero info on her. Oh, so the missing cases led us to an illegal cult-like organization and a bunch of other twisted plans. Unbelievable. We'd be toast without your help. Huh? And who's that? What? Come on, you need to be more specific. Well, that's it for now. Ring me up when you find something unusual again. I'll catch you later. A letter without a signature. It can only lead to one thing. Yenlin. She's waiting for me. Same as last time, she said. Must be the wolf markings. I should look around. <laughs>